Hey, welcome to the Willimantic Murph. My name is Matt Balsey, Operations Manager here. I'm going to take you guys on a quick tour. Take a look at the single stream pile behind me. See how everything is co-mingled together. As we work through the system, you'll see the efficiency of the equipment that we've installed recently and how it helps us better sort and separate materials for end markets. Let's go take a look at pre-sort. From here, we'll head up to the pre-sort area where sorters are removing any unacceptable materials that don't belong in the recycling mix. They're looking for things like trash bags, rope, and heavy scrap metal items that can cause damage or be unsafe. At the end of this video, we'll share a poster showing what does and does not belong in your recycling bin. Here we see the cardboard and paper screens where a lot of important separation is happening. You have cardboard and paper floating along the top and heading to the optical sorters. Broken glass is falling to a belt to go to the glass cleanup system and plastic and metal containers are falling onto a different belt headed to the ballistic separator. Here's the first optical sorter, which receives smaller sized cardboard and paper items. We've programmed this optical to capture the brown fiber, basically your small shipping boxes, and send it up to join the rest of the cardboard. This wouldn't have existed in the past, but with the rise of online shopping, it's a must. The paper continues on to the next optical, which is the same idea, with different programming. This is the ballistic separator, which recovers mixed paper from the plastic and metal containers. The mixed paper goes on to another optical sorter before heading to quality control. The containers similarly go through another optical sorter and are then ready for us to separate by type. As we walk over to the quality control area, you'll notice two conveyor lines on our left. One has our mixed paper and the other has our plastic and metal containers. You can see how much the technology has already done to clean these up. Here we are in the quality control area, where our people clean up anything that the machines have missed. So for example, here you can see we're cleaning up the paper, pulling out things like plastic bags that might still be in the mix. Next, you get to see how we separate the containers. First up, you'll see our inline magnet, a rotating drum that pulls off steel or tin cans. Then we optically sort containers, such as PET, HDPE, polypropylene, and follow this optical sortation with manual quality control to maximize capture and ensure clean bales for reuse in new products. Thanks to grant support from the Recycling Partnership, we can prioritize collecting additional materials like polypropylene and others. Here we see another piece of equipment which uses eddy current technology to separate out aluminum products like beverage cans, aluminum foil, and trays. Finally, our last chance optical captures polypropylene, HDPE, and PET. It returns the material to a recirculation belt that allows for the material to be reprocessed through the container optical and quality control stations. Now we'll head to the bunkers and balers. For our last step, we accumulate the sorted materials in bunkers, which travels by conveyors up to our two balers. And then you can see our finished product, these beautiful bales of cardboard coming out of the balers. And then in our bale storage, you see our newspaper, aluminum, steel, and tin, HDPE color, HDPE natural, and polypropylene. We take a lot of pride in how great these look. Next, these bales will get loaded up and shipped out to manufacturers all over North America to make new products. Now that you know what we do here at our recycling facilities, I hope you'll take a look at our flyer to find ways to recycle better and always place the right items in your recycling bins. We're really looking forward to a bright future here and building more sustainability and a circular economy in the state of Connecticut.